When was the last time you did absolutely nothing? No phone, no music, no distractions. Just you and your thoughts. If that idea terrifies you, your brain might be trying to tell you something. We live in a world that treats boredom like a disease. The moment we feel it creeping in, we reach for our phones, turn on Netflix, or find anything to fill the void. But here's the paradox. While we're running from boredom, our brains are desperately begging for it. Today, we'll uncover why boredom isn't your enemy. It's your brain's secret weapon. Part 1. The Science Behind Boredom So what actually happens in your brain when you're bored? When you stop focusing on external tasks and just exist, something remarkable activates. It's called the Default Mode Network, or DMN. Think of it as your brain's screensaver, but instead of just sitting idle, it's working behind the scenes, connecting dots you didn't even know existed. Research from USC and Harvard found that this default mode network is where creativity lives. It's where your brain processes memories, plans for the future, and makes sense of your experiences. But here's the catch. It only turns on when you're not stimulated. And that's our problem. We live in an age of dopamine overload. Every notification, every swipe, Every autoplay video keeps our brains locked in reactive mode. The moment boredom threatens to appear, we kill it. We've become so efficient at avoiding boredom that we've accidentally shut down the very system that makes us creative, insightful, and self-aware. The philosopher Pascal said it best. All of humanity's problems stem from man's inability to sit quietly in a room alone. He wasn't exaggerating. Part 2. Three Ways Boredom Makes You Smarter Number 1. Boredom Unlocks Creativity Your best ideas will never come while you're scrolling through social media. They come in the shower, on long walks, staring at the ceiling at 2 a.m. Why? Because creativity requires your brain to make unexpected connections. And those connections only happen when your default mode network is active when you're bored. Newton wasn't staring at his phone when the apple fell. Archimedes wasn't binge-watching when he had his eureka moment in the bath. They were bored, and their brains were free to wander. A study from the University of Central Lancashire proved this. They gave people boring tasks like reading a phone book, and then asked them to solve creative problems. The result? The bored group outperformed the control group by 40%. Think about that. 40% more creative, just from being bored. So the next time you're stuck on a problem, don't reach for more information. Reach for boredom. Go for a walk without your earbuds. Stare out the window. Let your mind wander. That's where the breakthroughs hide. Number 2. Boredom Strengthens Self-Awareness Here's an uncomfortable truth. Most people avoid boredom because they're actually avoiding themselves. When there's no TV, no music, no distractions, you're forced to confront your own thoughts, your fears, your regrets, your unprocessed emotions. And that's terrifying. But Carl Jung understood something profound. He said, Who looks outside? Dreams. Who looks inside, awakes. Boredom is the gateway to self-awareness. It's the only time your brain stops reacting to the world and starts processing your inner world. It's when you ask yourself the big questions. Am I happy? Am I living according to my values? What do I actually want? You can't answer those questions while scrolling Instagram. You need silence. You need space. You need boredom. Here's a simple practice. Schedule 10 minutes of boredom every day. No phone. No book. No podcast. Just sit and think. It will feel uncomfortable at first. 
That discomfort is your brain rewiring itself. Don't run from it. Lean into it. Number three, boredom improves focus and attention span. Your brain isn't designed to be on 24-7. It needs downtime to consolidate memories, process information, and recharge. Neuroscientists have discovered that when your default mode network activates, your hippocampus, the part of your brain responsible for memory, goes into overdrive. It organizes information, strengthens neural connections, and clears out mental clutter. A study at MIT found that students who took breaks and allowed their brains to rest after studying retained 20% more information than those who kept cramming. But we're doing the opposite. We're stuffing our brains with constant stimulation, never giving them time to process. And the result? Our attention spans are collapsing. We can't focus on anything for more than a few minutes. We've trained our brains to crave distraction. Boredom is the antidote. When you allow yourself to be bored, you're rebuilding your capacity for deep work, for sustained attention, for real thinking. The smartest people in history weren't the ones consuming the most content. They were the ones creating space to think. Part 3. The Anti-Boredom Protocol So how do you actually start using boredom as a tool? Step 1. Embrace micro-boredom. Stop reflexively reaching for your phone. When you're waiting in line, just wait. When you're sitting in traffic, just sit. Don't fill every gap with content. Let those two or three minutes of nothingness exist. That's where your brain starts to wake up. Step 2. Create boredom zones. Designate parts of your life as phone-free. No devices in the bedroom. Go for walks without music or podcasts. Sit with your coffee in the morning and just sit. These small pockets of boredom compound over time. Step 3. Notice your discomfort. When boredom hits, you'll feel an urge to escape. Notice that urge. Don't judge it. Just observe it. That discomfort is your brain adjusting. It's rewiring itself to tolerate stillness again. Stay with it. Because here's the truth. Boredom isn't a problem to solve. It's a signal that your brain is ready to do its deepest work. Let's recap. Boredom activates your default mode network, which unlocks creativity, strengthens self-awareness, and rebuilds your focus. But modern life has trained us to fear it, to kill it the moment it appears. The people who understand this, who protect their boredom, are the ones who think clearly, create brilliantly, and know themselves deeply. So here's your challenge. Spend 10 minutes today doing absolutely nothing. No phone, no book, no music. Just sit and notice what your mind does. You might surprise yourself. Remember, in a world addicted to distraction, boredom is an act of rebellion and intelligence. Thanks for watching. Now go be bored.